Good evening, everybody. What's going on? Your host, lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo 3, the ultimate driving simulator, and I'm not fucking dead anymore. <laughs> All right, because it totally seemed like I was going that way for a while. I'm going to tell you guys right now, um, this flu that I had is easy, easily the second worst flu I've ever had in my entire life. Like, it's the worst thing that I've had since I had swine flu about eight years ago. Uh, that... That shit was awful. Like, I, I don't think I'll have any type of flu that's ever going to top that bad boy, but this shit was was so awful. <laughs> I, I This is like the first time I felt like a regular human being and not just a fucking amorphous blob laying on my couch since seriously the day after Christmas. And that's a long time, so heard the fucking raw that we're out of that, so I'm totally cool with it. By the way... You guys are probably asking yourselves directly through your computer screen, despite the fact we haven't even started any races yet, you're probably asking, Hey Adam, why does everything look so crazily better right now? And, and it does. It really does. <laughs> um, if I took all the credit for that, well that would make me an asshole. I'm actually not going to take any of it. I am going to lay all the responsibility for why this, why the, the quality of these videos are going to look way better from this point forward, all on the shoulders of one man, and uh, his name's Eric Demery. I gotta give him, I gotta give him all the credit in the world, man. He came through with probably the most clutch purchase of all the land that we ever saw on this planet for uh, 2017. He. Uh, he basically sent me in the mail, I don't know why I never thought of this, but this is so, it's so smart. He sent me a PS2 to HDMI uh, little converter device for my PS2, so that instead of having to run this bad boy through, you know, just the regular uh, component, you know, yellow, uh, white, red cables, I can just run HDMI through it, and oh my god, it just, I did one test with it last night, and my, the top of my skull almost flew off and had like a Krakatoa level explosion going on. Because, I mean, this, this is simply the best thing I've ever seen, I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> as far as PS2 standards are concerned. Like, this looks, it's so much better in every category. Like, the audio is way smoother. The video is way smoother. Like, look at this shit, man! <laughs> like, this almost looks like, it looks like it could be an Xbox game with, with how much just, you know, cleaner and more crisp and everything that it is. Um, and so, man, I as soon as as soon as I got to try this thing out, I had to tell him right away. I was like, dude, you are the actual MVP of this. Like, you're going to make the quality of this series skyrocket through the roof just so long as, you know, my audio quality isn't bullshit the whole time. <laughs> so... I'm super pumped about it, man. Just like looking, even just like as something as simple as the lens flares on the front of the car <laughs> looks so much better in HDMI than they did with the component. So I'm basically sitting over here drooling all over myself. But hey, man, we're we're good to go. We are we are good to go. Fucking ba da ba ba ba. I'm fucking loving it. Send that off to McDonald's. They can use that as their new tagline. Just throw the fucking in there now. You know, we can... All of our burgers are in HDMI instead of standard definition, so... They basically look the way that they're supposed to. They look like they were expertly created for the commercials instead of the... The fucking hogwash that we get half the time we go through the drive through where... You know, the burgers are all, like, smushed to one side and the cheese isn't even centered in the middle and it's all kind of draped over one corner and... You know, everything doesn't even taste right. It tastes like, you know, there's someone spitting jizz in it and all these things. I've actually never had any of those problems arise for me at, at McDonald's ever, but I know it happens to people. <laughs> I, I generally, when I go when I go to McDee's, I'm, I'm they they treat me right pretty much every time. So you know, you're not gonna not gonna get any any argumentas out of me. And that's not even that's not even a word. I'm pretty sure argumentas is not arguments in Spanish. <laughs> So, I have offended people in such a way. Here we go. We need to clean this one up. Need to not totally go and fuck this thing up in the last turn. Because he definitely, he has the speed advantage on me. We're going to have to do some defensive, some defensive maneuvers here to make sure that he doesn't pass us in the, 
in the final seconds. This stretch is what gets you, man. <laughs> so I'm I'm hoping and a praying here. I don't think he's gonna catch us. I think we got enough of a enough of a Michael Buffer on him here that he's not gonna be able to pull it off. Oh yeah. Give me the give me the thing. I know we're close. There it is, we're good. Once you see the brackets, then you you know you've made it home free. Um But I dude, I gotta tell you, this flu Oh no 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 no. Oh god. This this flu that I've had borderline made me almost go insane and I'm not I'm not just saying that for like shock value there was one night a couple nights ago where I seriously thought I was going nuts <laughs> like I thought they were gonna have to put me in a straight jacket or something cuz I like my brain just felt like it was like turning into mush and like there was a rat inside of my head that was just like bathing in it just rolling around and then somebody was taking like like a fireplace poker and just trying to like you know, jar the rat inside of my brain. It was ridiculous. But even before that, there was another night where, like, I had such a weird dream sequence. I couldn't even handle it. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys about it because it's, it's, oh boy, it was so weird. So I think this was, this was like a couple nights before, this was like a couple nights before, um, Ooh, we might actually have a chance at this. The one thing that makes this race really hard, by the way, is when you have to race against um, the uh, the spider. And that, that fucking spider is so tough for some reason. Like, he's just fast enough to keep me at bay. And so, now that, now that they do not have him to keep me at Michael Bay, we might have a chance at pulling this thing off. Because I think I'm slightly underpowered for this race. But we'll see what happens. If, if the only thing I have to worry about are, are, are Miatas, then oh, I'm, I should be gold. But if I had to deal with that spider, we would have had a real problem. So I think we're going to be all right here. I've certainly done more with less. But so, okay, so this was like a couple nights before New Year's Eve. And, uh, and you know, I, I was, I was kind of sweating and... And by the way, this is like the weirdest flu I've ever had. Like every flu outside of the swine flu that I've ever had always started the like started the same way, and like it it went through the same exact course and then it ended the same way. Like it, it always starts with a sore throat and then it goes up into my sinus and then down into my chest and then it goes away. For this one, like it started in my sinus, never got a sore throat, and then it like kind of went into my chest, but not really. It and then it was just and. It was just this whole fucking mess. It was so weird. But, so, so I go to bed one night, and it's when I'm, I'm not like, su I'm not really like that sick yet, but I, I knew that I was just like super exhausted and needed to get some sleep. And so I go to bed, and I was sleeping pretty good, but the entire sequence of what went on while I was sleeping was so bizarre, because like, it seemed like the entire night that I was sleeping, it, like, and I, I felt like I was, like, I could hear just the intro. I felt like I could hear the intro to, like, an, like an 80s slash, like, early 90s sitcom going on for seriously, like, seven hours. And what made it worse is that it, it just had to be the Too Many Cooks one. Just the Too Many Cooks, do 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 that, that whole thing. Oh, boy. Got it. Yep. That's what I needed. Had to kind of bully him out of the way. That's the part that makes this race hard for me, is that if I can't do that to that spider on the second lap, I can't catch him. I just, I can't catch him. He's just, he's like just a few horsepower, you know, higher than I am, and so I can't get to him. But we should be able to, unless my driving is awful in this last lap, we should have this thing won. Um, but, so, yeah, it just, it was like that, but it was for like hours, seemingly. And, like, for those of you that know what the Too Many Cooks song is, like, you, you kind of, you know, like, the tempo and the cadence and everything of it. But the thing that made this extra weird is not that it felt like it was going on for, like, 90 hours in my brain, because it probably was 90 hours anyways. But it's the fact that it was going on at, like, half time. So, it, and it was, it sounded like this, just this weird-ass, like, demon speak almost, like... Instead of it being, too many cooks, too many cooks, you know, that whole thing. It was like, too many cooks, too many cooks, too many cooks, too many cooks. <laughs> it was so crazy. It was so weird. And like at one point, I, I thought that I woke up 
and it was still going on like in that tone just the whole time and I was what the fuck is all this it was oh it was so weird but the even weirder one was the even weirder thing was what happened a couple nights later which I think was the night before New Year's Eve so that night you know my mom and my dad and I are all out on the couch because we're all basically on our fucking deathbeds we all of us hadn't gone to work in a number of days and uh and so we're sitting there just like trying to comprehend what the hell's going on with our lives because we're losing it. Oh, here we go. What have we? That looks like a Miata. It sure is. Ooh, it's a pretty one. Ty, we've got like this Christmas combo going on right now. We got the we got the the blood red one, and now we've got green, which is the color of fucking money. <laughs> I like it, it really matters. I actually I like I like that particular shade of green. Like it's kind of the same shade of green that's here on the screen. It, it I don't know. There's something about it that it looks really cool to me. It's just uh, kind of has like an Oregon Ducks feel too. Uh, they have they have a, a particular you know jersey set that has kind of sort of that same shade. It's a little bit lighter than that, but it, it, it's close. We totally don't need this Miata, and so I'm gonna sell it and get some much needed cash because uh, what we're gonna be doing is gonna require this car to be a little bit faster than what it is right now. So we're gonna make sure that it's going to be just that. And by just that, I mean by a lot, actually. <laughs> Threw an extra 120 something horsepower in there. Um, but because that's gonna make this car start handling like ass, we should probably mm, at least get some sports tires. I'm not gonna do simulation ones for the love of Christmas. Uh, this'll be fine, and that's gonna drain all the money. So that's that's fine, totally fine. We're gonna go to um, we're gonna go to the '80s Sports Car Cup. I think is what it is. Yeah, that's I think like one of the last things that this car is actually gonna work out in that I can that I can think of. It's actually kind of a cool lineup of cars that work in here. You got like uh, Nismo Skylines. You got the Sylvia K's, which I think those are ugly as sin. But that's you know I, <laughs> it was a different time back then. You know. You got these 300 uh, ZXs, which are pretty cool. Uh, the Sprinter Terreno, which the one that I got, I could have totally used it there, but why? <laughs> you know, so might as well stick with my guns here since I've got the, the right model as well. So we got enough time. We'll do one of these and then we'll call it good. Um, let's, ooh. Um, hmm. R24. Let's do R246. We haven't done that race yet. I'm kind of, kind of wanting to see it. So... But okay, so we're out on the couch and we're watching Office Space. Lovely movie. I hardly even knew what was going. I mean, I've seen the movie a million times, but I like hardly could even comprehend what the hell was going on because I had just like a headache and my back was hurting. But uh, man, this track is so weird. I forgot about this. Doing uh, doing license testing on this track sucks so hard. By the way, I fucking hate it. <laughs> it is not tight at all. But we'll we'll deal with that when we get there. Um. So we're watching that, and I, I just, like, it gets towards the end of the movie, and I just, like, I have just, like, this kind of pain in my chest, and I was like, yeah, you know, I think I'll just kind of go to bed and sleep it off. I just, I, I must be super tired, you know, and I'm kind of feverish, so, you know, maybe if I get some sleep, then we'll, we'll be good to go. And so, uh, so I go off to bed. It's like 11 o'clock. I've gone to bed before midnight so many times in the last few days. It's, it's crazy. Um... And, and so I went to bed, and I think I got, like, a solid maybe, like, two and a half hours of sleep. I mean, there were a lot of tossing and turning in there, but I got, like, a solid two and a half hours of good sleep in there until about five in the morning. I woke up at, I woke up at like, at, like, 5.07 that morning, and, dude, it, it seriously felt like somebody, while I was asleep, picked me up out of bed, took me outside, threw me in a dumpster, and then uh, that dumpster got picked up by the garbage truck and just like thrown into a fucking volcano and then the volcano got like folded into four pieces and like shoved into somebody's pocket and then blown up <laughs> it, it was it was just so bad i woke up and i just had like this splitting headache and my chest was just like it it felt like someone was like stepping on it and my heart was pounding for some reason and like i had partially sweat through my clothes and just like my back was hurting and it felt like I threw out my lower left back in the middle of just like thrashing around like a maroon and uh, and so I was like okay 
was like, I, I just need to, I just need to go back to sleep. And so I turned the volume down on my TV, and I was just trying to like, you know, find a comfortable spot. And like, probably every five seconds or so, I'd have to move again because it just it wasn't comfortable. And so I'd kind of shift just a little bit, and I have to do it again, and I have to do it again, and again, and again. And I seriously did that for about three and a half hours. And after a while, I was just I was like growling, and I was just like mumbling to myself like. Why is it so fucking uncomfortable? Like, why? It's like, I just, I need some sleep, damn it! And I'm just like, I'm sitting here talking to myself. And after, and after a while, I'm like, I'm like trying to drink water to make me more comfortable. And hopefully, you know, thinking, you know, just insanely that by drinking some, you know, maybe drinking some water will make the pain in my chest go away. And, and it didn't, obviously. And so, after a while, I decided, you know what, maybe I'll go lay on the healing couch, because, you know, my living room couch out here, I swear to God, has healing powers. If you don't believe me, come all the way out here when you're sick. Come lay on it for, like, a day and tell me that you're still sick, because you won't be. <laughs> I'm telling you. It, it was, like, infused by some type of, like, witch doctor powers back in some other time. I don't fucking know. But... I was like, you know what, maybe I'll go lay out there. It's like a different angle, and it just, I don't know, I feel like I can always get comfortable on that thing. I go out there, and I had to do the same rodeo for like another half an hour. Couldn't get comfortable for the life of me. And so, I, and I was just like, God, I'm just like, I'm losing it right now. And so, I went back to bed again to try, you know, to kind of try my luck at it one more time. And I went and laid in bed, and just for another like 35 minutes, and I just... And I was just like, I, I even remember saying it out loud. I was like, I think I'm going fucking crazy in here. Like, I think I may have to go to a hospital, like a mental hospital, because I feel like my brain is just like turning into mush. Like, I, there's just no way that I can't get comfortable at all right now. <laughs> like, what the hell is wrong with me? Like, am I gonna have to have them like drill into my into my chest or my brain so that I can get some comfort for a second? Or what the fuck? And, uh, and I just, I kept doing that over and over and over again. And the next thing I knew, it was 10.30 in the morning. And I had been doing this crazy-ass, like, limbo with myself for, like, close to, close to six hours. And I, I went and took a shower. I was like, maybe taking a shower will help. Like, something's got to work. And I was standing in there just, like, you know, letting the hot water just, like, hit me in the face. And I was like, there's, there's like no way on the planet that this is almost making it worse. Like, how is this almost making it worse? Like, I feel almost worse just standing here than anything else. And I got out of the shower, you know, and put my, you know, put some other clothes on. And I went to lay in bed again. And I still just was horribly uncomfortable. And the only, the only position of comfort that I got until later on I went out on the couch and, and laid down and like took a nap miraculously because my chest stopped pounding was I was sitting I was sitting on the edge of my bed with my head like in my hands on my cat like on my dresser so I was just like I was basically like like a sleeping student or something I was just, it was just the weirdest fucking thing I was like of all the places that I can that I can get comfortable this is the only one <laughs> like I not anything else traditionally that would make any fucking sense this is the only thing that I got that's just great so, dude, oh, it was the worst. It was absolutely... I just, I woke up and I was like, I can't believe that... Like, once I finally kind of... Kind of calmed down a little bit and, and my sanity finally, you know, showed up. I was like, that... That might have been... That might have been one of the worst stretches of about six hours of my entire life. <laughs> it was just... I, I seriously thought that I was going to either, like, go... Like, drive my head through a wall and go run down the street until I eventually got hit by oncoming traffic, or I was just gonna just, like, lay there in the same way that fucking Basil did in, uh, in The Great Mouse Detective, where he's just lying there on the, on the fucking, you know, table thing about ready to get himself, like, cut in half or whatever the hell that scenario was, I can't remember. And, and then he just, he's just, like, laying there, like, not even just acknowledging anything's even happening. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a nightmare. So now that I've rambled on for like 42 hours, uh, we have now completed some races. I feel good. It feels good to finally be back into racing again. So 
when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Gran Turismo 3, the the the, the ultimate driving simulator, I almost said the world's driving simulator, but it, which it probably is, we're going to go back into the 80 sports car uh, thingamajig, and there's two races left in there <coughs> before we get ourselves a lovely new vehicle. So, feels good to be back, my friends. It also feels good to have high-quality video, thanks to Eric Demery. So, uh, thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. it, it it's it's great. <laughs> it really is. And uh, this has been your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye. <laughs>